Fifth another three. No. Pitch widely. Came out Miami. Kicks it back out. Harrell. It's good. Tyler Harrell from downtown. Butler's going to try another three, and that's good. Third field goal, second three for Jimmy Butler. Boy, the Heat need that. It's excellent. Butler with the ball for the lead. Jimmy Butler with Jimmy Butler off the ground. Robinson, wow, is he off on fire? It's on this Mavericks team before that injury. Kayla Martin losing wow. another side to Rozier. Sheds the defense of Exum, and the runner will float in. And trying to find some room. Derek Jones Jr. Jones, another player who's like a perfect fit for this team. That's close. We're in the third right now, and it takes it. three is good, and he's got 12 points in this third. As Adebayo throws it down, it's hey! happened. Is up on a three. Butler, the extra pass. Wide open shot. Caleb Martin connects. Here comes Smith across the lane. Corner three, Butler bucket. Derek Lively gets healthy. You've got two elite rim threats for Luka as target practice. Hardaway. Gafford. Great job by Gafford. Shot clock, game clock, nearly identical. Doncic has that a bio on him. Dry stops, falling away, puts it up, puts it in. Luka Doncic nails it. This is where it all comes down to this. As this one is the final two teams in the Eastern and Western Conference champions. The battle range in between the Butler and Donkic. Son of Beast here on Woodsburny here. This is NBA Finals on 2K24. Last one that does so and will crown the champion of 2K Sports champion of the game for the finals. This is where it comes down to this. Lost one does it all. Season finale, Heat, Mavericks, next on 2K Sports. Coming up after this. Three, Luka Doncic with the triple. Love, knocks down the three. The last couple of years, but he just pours an effort. Hero inside, Jovic throws it down. Start here by full distance, he just said there's a three. Finally Kyrie got it to drop. Kyrie Irving launches, that's good as well. Alley up to Jones, oh the perfect pass. In Miami with it, oh, uh oh, oh, okay. Rozier breaks free and drives. Far with Miami, a bunch of this. Smith off that baseline. He drives inside, high off the glass. It in. The bait behind the back drives inside, falling away at the buzzer. Kyrie Irving nails it. Such a difficult bit in front. Oh, oh, fake, fires, Hey everybody, it's Paintbrush here, and I am here with my next broadcasting partner. It's Boomer, and for commentary of the crew for the pregame show, I have this OJ. That's right, we are ready to have the next matchup, and this time, it's Mavericks, playing against the Heat. The last game that happened to be Luka Doncic with an amazing win over Miami Heat with the regulation period. Step back threes, and made that in. Cannibal would love to have that one, playable on their goal. But now, they are away and they are playing at Miami, ready for a next stop to take over on the other side of the game. The next commentators I have is Kevin Harlan along with a two-day sports crew, and David Aldridge will be the center court for tonight's game. We'll see you all later here for the post-game show, and of course, the three star players of the game and for statistics, right on the line. Will this be a lead-off between Miami or the Dallas? We'll find out if there is another take in here. Now let's get into the game. All for you guys. See you later, everybody. And those are the starting lineups. Yeah. So that's the team matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. 
action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. Now, we'll look at Dallas' starting lineup. The star backcourt of Don Chich and Irving are out there. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington. And it's Jones in at the small forward position. And for the Heat, the wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Jerry Oji. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at the four slot. You know, with all the talent in these two backcourts doors, this should be a very exciting matchup. And you know, Kevin, like we could say that for most matchups these days, right? The league is so heavily laden with talent at the guard position. I feel spoiled. Now, here's Rogier. Here's Heisman. Rebounded by Gaffer. Irving against Rogier. Irving kicks to Dutchich. Here's Gafford, and that basket will turn down. Will turn in the official call. Yeah, that's a tough call for the ref to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. He got offense. Ogier, the pass to Autobahn. Outside, Hero. And it's Ogier missing. And Zodancic will bring it up for the Mavericks. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Possession. Football. Minute play so far here in the first. Outside Butler. And all the foul on the map. But he gets no map. He will shoot two. Boy, first first so Jimmy foul. Jimmy Butler is a first team foul. foul. Inside and outside. But what and I. And now shooting in the line. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. Tough two. Miami shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. One falls for. You know, playable happens to be with Jimmy Butler. All the time effort is going to be taking it and a lot of chances out there. When you play it, you have to believe it on your own. And so Butler nails both of them. Doris, when we look at the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like a team that has shown they want to win now. Has never been afraid to pull the trigger on a big trade. The Mavs are not about just making it to the playoffs. This is an organization that seeks the ultimate prize, and that is to win an NBA championship. That's the Rozier. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. 13 feet away. Again, the miss by the Heat. On the Mavericks with it. Here's Doncic. He's now one gun shot with that body. Yeah, Doncic is used to and accustomed to all this contact. In fact, you get the sense he loves and relishes this kind of play. Now, here's Rushi. Gafford's got his second desk. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip ins are easy to come by. Here's Butler. Good ball movement here by Miami. Kicks it out to Hero. Six on the shot clock. Over in the corner, Roshi. Outside, Hero. Now the pass to Butler. 
Because when you're playing it for just like that, I mean, all you just need to do is to have some concentration on it. You were looking at it lastly, and then when you were able, able to pop that when you're down, you were trying to find the right way to have that when you're down. And when you look for the status of Tyler Hero, he's playing it for all of his American in this team. The last part of it was able to play it for all of his effort after playing with the Kentucky Wildcats, and was first selected by the 2019 NBA Draft. It definitely was an aim here with the to NBA All Rookie Second Team in the 2020. Now they're expecting him right now, renamed as Sixth Man of the Year in 2022. Now he has a lot of them to play in between for point guard and shooting. Well, that's totally what they're expecting it for now. I and mean, I've always said the serious is that all it happens to be what they're expected to do is how Tyler Hero does. His whole kicking concentration will conclude it, and he will continue for the next one. Now back to you, Kevin. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. I believe the pass to Hardy. Good for the Mavericks. Starting off one for one with that shot. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Inside. Here's Robinson. He's job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. 
and the first one at the line is good. Now watch out for Max Kleba. He's definitely going to be taking it over at the same time. You don't want this to get right either way. You don't want to play it like that. You got to pick something else. Good as he hits both of his shots. Now Rogier. No scoring in this one. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Jovic. And that one. Nico off the Jovic. Average trail by four. Two. Shooting about 50% here tonight. Back to Rogier. Here's Hockey. That's good. James Rogier. Hockey Junior. This one. Tom Terry. One three left in, in the first. Exum passes to Lively. Now Cleveland. It's a nice passing here by Dallas. And that one's good. Hardy. Hardy's got five. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Pass to Jovic. And Lively pulls it down. Average trail by three. Outside Hardaway. To the paint. Hardaway comes to the punch. A beautiful pass. And next he's in. Well, you want to score with two minutes from a guy who's capable of scoring, and Tim Hardaway says, you know what, my teammate's open, I'm going to get him the ball. Now, here's Rogier. Scoreless thus far. Jovic passes to Martin. Two points. Helen Martin! Lead by three. Nikolai Jovic. His quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. And that's an ounce. Dallas will return the ball. Right, he's checked in. Still on the ball. Dallas also making a switch. Too long. Right, he's checked in for Exxon. Here's Hardy. Five points in the game. A pass to Kleba. Green kicks to Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Miami leading by three. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. To the inside. Here's Wright. Well, three. Long right. Delon Wright proving that he is more than capable of finishing with contact. That is well done. Now here's Hardaway. One on the clock, and no luck with that side. That's the end of the first quarter. Is is Miami Heat for Miami. 24. Eight points in the quarter. And has that Dallas basketball instinct on this one. Back right after this. And if you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've been seeing from the Heat, guys. They just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball. When you keep everyone involved in the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like GA ball handlers had to adjust. You know, guards can get away with a lot these days, and it's hard for players and the refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, guys need to be kept in check. On the court for Dallas here in the second, the star backcourt of Don Chichina being around there. Green is up there with T.J. Washington, and it's Powell in at the five. Now here's Butler. Here's Hero with the three. Irving. Pass to Autobahn. Powell pulls 
comes in. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. They trail by three. Washington. It's one of the best things about playing with Luka Doncic. He creates a lot of open looks. Pass to Autobahn. And here is White. Goodbye, Doncic. Puts it up from 12. Robinson misses. For Dallas, they've got a nice 3 of 3 to start the second. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job to defend. You see the offense of Dallas, all time out. Entered the lead with raw skills. Today's had the benefit of great coaching. And the Mavericks call time here. For viewers, timeouts a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Now, when you're calling this in mean, from that point, you, you got a great one to take over here. you, you got a great one on the lift. When playing for some reasons, this is what ever happens right now. They expect it right now. This thing is really keeping the nets on. And then when you're expecting it to play like this, you, you won't have anything to like make that run change up in their mind. It, how are we able to do this? Well, this is just not trying to be anybody's the same thing. And because of that happened two years ago, this is what happened to me like on the change out. They lost against the Golden State Warriors. This may be a little bit of a hard chain that they're trying to go for. But it may not be a, a, available to get that one a good look. No one has a transitability of the opportunity range. They're going to need to try something else for it. Well, that might be what they wanted to do. I mean, if there is no other way to get this one through, it's not going to be easy enough to have that one here coming down. And we'll find out who's here just here for the heat. I spent this jacket in the hand. It's Rozier. In for right. And now it's also the old 40 heat. Jackson's Jim Terry, Rochier, and Terry got him on. Let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. Now, the Mavericks' all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined very in the Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, DA, thank you. Clock at four. Here is Heisman. And it's off from three-point range. For Dallas, they've gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. You know, when you look at the game of Dwight Powell doors, he's sort of a throwback big man, isn't he? Shots, so I get sort of a throwback. Here's Doncic. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. foul. Daniel Gafford's first team from the Mavericks. Checking in for the Mavericks. Daniel Gafford. Against the tight cover. Now, here's Doncic. 
He's got seven in the best to Exum. Somebody's passing here by Dallas. Irving misses. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Hero passes to Autobahn. And they're on a Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Now, here's Exum. Still without a basket. Pulls loose. Two on nine. No one back to stop this. And it's right. Right. Ten point heat lead. Unwilling to let up, even for a Mavericks. Singular instinct. Just fanning the fight. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And the Mavericks call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Same thing have to go with you guys. <laughs> well, I mean, it might be one way that you definitely do for I mean, and this is where they have really have been playing it for. And speaking of this, first half coming to a close, we got a halftime show coming up. So we got our quick ones to take it all. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Spit and Shaq O'Neal. They're ready to bring things on. The seventh seed are kicking the dust up. The Heat might be battling in the rain. And Dallas Mavericks might need to ask their questions of what is going to be happening here in Mexico. So there might be a possible angle here that they want to try and lay like, defend it or not. Well, it may not be anything that you really wanted for, but there might be a one way to have a change all. So that will be all here coming up after this. Now back to you, Kevin. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitutional for the backs. The Hardaway Jr. Right. On the way, Irving. He has the Good on the triple. Oh, baby. I guess oh, he's got a pair of triples in the second. Irving. Boy, the range of Kyrie and the quickness and efficiency with which he gets it off. Look out. To the wing right side. Rozier against Dutchich. Passes it to Autobahn. And he just battles hard. Shooting those Butler doesn't need a clean look to convert from that range. To the paint, here's Wifley. Very quietly. Fantastic lead pass is up strong for the slam. Tim Hardaway Jr. Man in stride, that is a textbook delivery. Pass to Rozier. Here on the wing. Back to Rozier. Shoots over Doncic, and it's Rozier missing. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of the way. He's way such a reliable threat for range. You think the defense might key on him a little bit? Two minutes! Dos! Rinko! Doncic against Rozier. Any possession that ends in the paint, especially if the ball is in the hands of Jimmy Butler. Inside. And with that, and you know, he got he just down to four points. The basket there from Gafford. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Yes, the Butler. From about 19 feet, James the jump Butler! Some players don't love this in between level. Jimmy Butler making that mid range look easy. To the middle. And yeah. Jane throws it down. Assisted on it. He is so such a great jump. Straight a high riser, no doubt about it. Rozier with the ball. Outside hero. Here's Hawkins. And it's blocked. Outside Hardaway. 
Irvin. Yes, and it's Hardaway with their bases. Now, just a two point heat lead. Gets in the paint and drains it. Kyrie Irving, show off that touch. The master hero. Good ball movement here by Miami. Rocket six. Pass it to Autobahn. Good. Donchich kicks to Irving. Another three right, for Dallas. Yet another three. Once we hit the second quarter, it just seems like those threes just started to fall like rain. That's the end of the first half. Miami Heat. 47. It's for the quarter with Dallas Mavericks. And now 46. David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jason, a hard fought first half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking, get the ball in the paint. Use that link to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the champ, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He had 18 points, two assists, and one rebound. And last game, he could never really get going. Maybe that put a fire under him tonight. Kenny, let's get your take on Miami. Most of the damage they're doing is in the paint. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball and stop. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half with the deep worry about the post game. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? Hard to feel that when your opponent's shooting over 60%. The only thing they thought of was that defensively. Force them out their cover zone. Contest every shot. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. You've been watching a 2K Sports halftime show. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points and close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one can go down to the last possession. The wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Daniel Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the four. That's the group of the game for the Heat. And Miami has possession, following the score by Dallas. Hero against Hardaway. Pass to Highsmith. Stolen by Jones. Right on the bucket. Jones. He's going to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Here's Hero following the score by Dallas. The right side. Six to shoot. Nice shot is off. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue this. And usually one of the lead winners in field goal percentage towards Daniel Gaffer. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gaffer gives you an understanding of what his team needs. And so Miami again turning it over. <laughs> and my is going to change here. Robinson's checked in. And Josh Haynes checked in for Dallas. Duncan Robinson. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Over to the wing. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. Dallas, no good that time either. The Heat trail by three. Outside, Robinson. Pass the buck. There's the three. And two. Me. The assist. Buckler. Three. Ronchich passes to Washington. Back 
Dr. Doncic. To the inside. It's going by Adebayo. Nice with the pass to Robinson. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. They have to look at tenacity, but also the awareness to make sure he came away with that ball. Butler in the corner. Back to Robinson. Here's Heisman. Hasn't made one yet. Shot clock at five for the lead. And first year missing. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. And he lobs it with the rim. And Hanford throws it down. Boy, there is an artistry and a feel to Luka Doncic's game. This guy is elite with his playmaking. Now, here's Adebayo. Ten points for him. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Heisman. The J1. Harry Lucien for a little under two and a half minutes off the clock now. Here in the third, the pass to Jones and the wide open shot from Green off target from three point range. And even without that three ball dropping for the defense should have done more on that last play. Robinson finds Butler. Now Hull for the lead. Back to Rozier. Just five on the clock. Outside Robinson. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Mavericks have gone three to seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Jones, no one right here. Jones, 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 three pointer. Jones has got the lead up to three now for Dallas. Passes it to Autobahn. To the middle. Hey, Second buck for Bam on a wire. Post entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. No one near Doncic as he lets Luka. it go. Another three for Dallas. Three points. This is what makes Luca so special. Uh, he's so uh, unpredictable. Uh, and the first time out of the game called for the Heat. Time to turn up the Heat. Seems like there is a possible chance out there, but we are expecting to find out. What could this be? Oh boy. I don't know what happened to Luka Doncic, but that's really what they're expecting it. Playing it like that? Not at all. The NBA Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local key dealers, Movement Bad Spires. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Sweet Gum. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. With the upcoming games in between after this game, then we got our next game that's happening here for game number three, as you will have that one on the other side of you shortly after game four. A little bit of an off day, and then we will kick back in and get ready for our next part of the game in Game 4 in Miami, the rematch against Dallas Mavericks. We'll have more on that one later, but back to him. Another one for Dallas. Maxi Kleba, he's jacked in for P.J. Washington. Dante Nixon comes in for Derek Jones. And it's Hardy in for Doncic. Now here's Wright. Next to Jones. Richardson left side. Over Green. Again, the miss by the Heat. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Ask to Hardy. Kleba against Richards. Kleba, the pass to Gaff. There's Hexum. It's rebounded by Jovic. The Heat trail by four. Outside. Back to Martin. Launches it. Traps in the
just a gift. Not loose and stolen by Richardson. And now here comes Wright leading the way. Dallas Rock. Maxi Lebo. His first personal foul. And let's take a moment. We're seeing the foul. We've got the scoring so far for the men. Now, 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 and another theme in this game to me, guys, has been how lethal they've been in transition. Attack on the break and make sure you convert. Two. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Southern back in for dogs. Now we are being Derek Lambert. Productive two of six from three point land in the second half. Irving passes to Cleveland. There's the pass to Hardy, and it's Exum in the corner. Hands it from downtown. So Exum's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, Dante Exum knocking him down shots will put a smile on this team's face. He continues to work on the offensive end. Take advantage of the situation and deliver. 
Here's Irving. It's good. Kyrie is in swing against the weather attempts. How about the athleticism? Kyrie stops on a dime, knocks it in. Some of the best breaks in the league. Now, White. Fires for free. It's Miami going into the break with a 10 point lead. Their shooting has been the big key to the Miami. field so far. We'll take a quick that break and then back to the action. One quarter down, free guard. Be back after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Miami leading by 10. On the floor for Dallas, the star backcourt of Don Chich and Irving are out there. Washington out there with Hardaway. And it's Powell in at the five down low. Now here's Richardson. Pulls up. High post. Jigalovich. First is first first little foul. Hunter Milo is checked in. Substitution for the eight. Now is also making it. on the five. Jones checked in for Hardaway. Mavericks trail by ten. Doncic passes to Washington. And here is Powell. Doncic outside. Pass to Irving. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got seven rebounds in the game. Doncic against Richards. Puts it up from 12. A rebound by Washington. They got a chance to cut the deficit to within 10. Doncic kicks the jump. Great look, but off the mark. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. 10 point lead. This is their biggest. Martin finds Butler. Shoots over Doncic. And that's it. Butler's got the, Butler. the first basket of the period here for Miami. Doncic outside. Outside Irving. It's good for Miami. Irving. Irving's got it back out to a single digit deficit for now. Kyrie Irving is lighting it up right now, just letting everybody see every aspect of skill to his game. Richardson dishes to Robinson. The shot by Autobio, no good. Mavericks trail by nine. Anjic passes to Jones. And he gets the whistle for three it. second violation. Weed ball. Substitution position on the court for the Heat. Tyler Hero. Jamie Hawkins Jr. Terry Rochier the third. Eight, even by nine. Now, here's Rochier. Out to the right way. Here's Hawkins. Oh, and it's sick hit by Washington. And that's it to go. Butler. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Irving. Shot goes down. Very good okay. possession right there. Irving's got 20 oh, points. Timeout. Well, he's raked all over him, in fact. The level of concentration by Kyrie Irving, magnificent. Timeout call. The heat. Adjustments are a part of the game. If you were coach, you see something you doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Well, there is now. And there's another way to have that one set it up. 
So that will be all the upcoming games that will be happening here for In Between. That's going to be happening here right in between the off day, and then you will be back here for the next day, as you'll have this one for the next one of the Heat and the Mavericks here back at Kaseya Center for Game 4. That will be happening here at 8 p.m. to have it all settle things down. And for the next game, we've got the Canes facing against the Canucks. That's right, Canes and Canucks are ready to bring their team on to the victory line. And that'll be game three underway here at Carolina at the PNC Arena. And that will be the next game back at for another game here for NHL Stanley Cup Final. And that'll be the other way to bake things on right ahead. And the post-game show will be underway here soon, only on Center Peace. So keep your eyes on the field for the next one. Anyway, time to get back in the track. Back to you, Kevin. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aubrey. That's the latest, David. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear our expulsed for coaching the team during the break. Now, he heaped praise on the defense. He said the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. Third, Rochelle that in-between game. Jimmy Butler. Listen, if it's a bucket, I'll take it. Doncic kicks the foul. Jones with it. In the corner, Irving with it. And a miss hit on the triple. And here's our bio. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And there's the pass to Hawkins. Shot clock at six. Here's on the bayon. That's good. The 13 now for Miami. For Dallas, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Washington. And Jones has it in the corner. No good for Matsa. Hawkins the pass to Hero. Butler on the way. Let's it go from deep. And it's rebounded by Dallas. Outside, Jones. In a wide open hook for Irving. It's three corners off the mark. Eight by 13. Now out of bio. Over to the left wing. Is the pass to Autobahn. Shoots over Powell, and it's Powell. Another He's just far enough to keep the D honest. Pass to Powell. Irving from long range. It's Autobahn with the rebound. Autobahn's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Hawkins the pass to Autobahn. Here's Hawkins, guarded by Powell, and the whistle. Jamie Hawkins Jr. Yeah, Defensive foul, D.Y. Powell. His first personal foul. Nice seat is checked up. in. Daniel Gafford's checked in. Now shooting. 40 deep. Jamie Hawkins Jr. One shot. Up. And the Mavericks with possession here. It's an 18 point game. Dallas calls time now. Dallas Mavericks. With the ball here, they haven't been as patient forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow that down and relax. The NBA Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by Starry Lines. Your local Kia dealers. 
good than bad spires. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. Really happy to see you about Miami Heat. They've been playing it really well. I mean, this is what definitely happens right now. They were just trying to like keep that when game's over. Hey, there's one way I need to tell you about this. You know how well they do because Miami Heat are always been the A superstar? They won this back in 2012. They've really been doing that one again. Ben the Mavericks won in 2011 that year. They're never going to lose that one after, and they're just never going to like leave it here. Hey, I always agree right now. I think Miami Heat's going to be the next one to keep things over. The underdog team, it's going to be a hot take over. Time for three star plays. Eight for Zoom. Two downs for the game. Later in the game. From Jimmy Butler feed. And his performance has been a job. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. And with their spot in the postseason assured, he's picking up just at the right time to be on top of his game. Jones finds Irving. Dallas, no good that time either. Drive to the rim, the shot just not going. Rozier against Dutchish. Highsmith, the pass to Hero. Here's on the bio. Here's Highsmith. Hey, hey what? Highsmith! tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. To the paint, trying to go for an alley, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Two minutes! Side here. Dose! Mantos! Here. Just five to shoot. Here's Butler. And the shot. Shit! Me! Butler! Done on both ends and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Now the Heat with it. They're on an 18 to 5 run here. Now Hero to the left wing. Here's Heisman. And there's Haywood Heisman. A contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say, mission accomplished now for Miami. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all around down performance. You kind of thought that they'd be going to the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in Ben. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jimmy Butler. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Gafford against Adebayo. Good for his eighth hit. He's on the shot. These fans. Oh, yes, they were nice men. They are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Now, here's Dutchich. The train. And that comes up against the Duncan. What I love about Luka Doncic is how much fun he has playing the game. Shots like that, the flair just demonstrated. Doncic against Rozier. Let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player in the game. Hey, David. Drive on. Thanks very much, Jimmy. I know you see defenses like that all the time, but it didn't seem to slow you down. 
but not really. I mean, I guess I just had it going. We started double teaming them too, you know, and they got so many great shooters, man. It's just good to win. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going yeah, I know that's what counts, man, but congrats on the win. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olman, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. guys thank you so much for everything right now Kevin Arlen and now this is what we are talking about here's how you do with the total statistics 61 was field goals for Miami and it was three pointers 37 out of them and over to me 11 out of 30 three pointers of a shot for Dallas Mavericks and it was a free throws percentage of the perfect line for Miami Heat 12 fast break points for Dallas then 48 points to the paint for Miami Heat with second chance points of eight Bench points for 34. Assists put up 35 in a row. But it was 8 defensive rebounds here, and the defensive rebounds has put up 23 of them. Then it was 9 steals. Only turned out to be the only 2 blocks between Dallas and Miami. 2 turnovers. That was kind of crazy. And then it was only 2 team fouls that was given here. 5 ducks performed here for Dallas Mavericks that picked it up. And only 27 biggest lead with 1801 time possession of the game and just only two timeouts remain for Miami. Hey, this is what everyone was expecting. I always say that this one was like a hot heat hands for Miami Heat. It looks like that they are just climbing their way up already. They are just pushing past by Dallas Mavericks. What can they do now? Well, I guess it might be another way to, have to stick around here for next time, so you're not going to believe what's going to happen now, so. Don't try to take a dimension on it if you can. And now it's time for your three star plays of the game. I send it over to you, OJ. You start? All right, thank you so much. Time for three star plays of the game. As I started over big here, that might have been what they call it Bam on the Bio. He had just gotten a great blockage. One block, three steals, only with two assists and 11 rebounds. He only made 16 points of the game with 8 out of 12 field goals, and only perfect one dunk had made with 21 performance effort. Had done it all. He was doing great, but I think Bam might do it again. And now over to you, Boomer, for number two. All right, thank you so much. Now, as I talked about it here before, number two is a star. Kyrie Irving, the uncle drew 20 points in the game, one rebound, three assists, and he only had eight out of 18 field goals. Just four out of 13 three-pointers. It was not really easy what he was meant to be. And 26 performance effort was the finishing of his time in game three. I'm hoping that Uncle Drew might be able to keep that one good going, but let's see what Kyrie Irving has done. If there's no way to get through. Uh, your take here, Mr. Paintbrush. Well, I, I get to say the New Balance player of the game. I'm going to go with this guy. Hell, hey, and still hot hand player, Jimmy Butler. 27 points with 6 rebounds. And he only had uh, 3 assists in the game, and he only had made out of 12 out of 15 field goals in this range. Only one three-pointer was only made. I mean, he's definitely excellent. One dunk in 34 performance effort. How do you play it like that for Jimmy Butler? Well, question is, it's not going to be easy enough to try to keep that one out. And you know what I expect here, because he is like a, a fire on a hand. He just made that all coming down. And well, folks, that's going to be it here for game three. We're going to have a little day off, and then we'll get back into game four to get ready for our next matchup. And following along will be Game 3 of the NHL 24 of the Stanley Cup Final of the Canucks facing against the Hurricanes. If you're ready for the next one, be sure to catch these things for the next game. It's underway soon. In the meantime, thanks for joining us here. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel because he's got a lot of it, tons of it in between of all of his stuff. And definitely, of course, right now, don't forget to check out the last completed post-seasons in between. You'll see them more up ahead right underway. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA Finals on 2K Sports Style. And this is Paintbrush along with Boomer and OJ. We wish you all a have a great evening, and we'll see you all again on the other side soon. The lead series, Miami Heat, 2 over one We'll find out more next time. Adios, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.